Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to Dave's Techway. In today's video, we're going to be doing some benchmarking on my personal rig, which is running the Ryzen 5 2400G, along with the RX 588 gig. Stay tuned, and I'll run down the specs of my system and what kind of numbers I can get out of it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, here's the specs of my system. I'm running the Fractor Design Focus G case. I've got the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G processor. I've got the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. I have the XFX Radeon RX 580 GTS Black Edition running 1405 MHz out of the box. It's an 8 gig cord. I'm running 16 gigs of ADATA XPG uh, memory. It's two 8 gig sticks. It says 3000, but it, my motherboard don't support the XMP profile on this RAM, so it's actually running at 2666. The power of the whole system is an EVGA 650GQ 80 plus gold 650 watt semi modular power supply. I've got an Intel 660P series M.2 NVMe drive, 1 terabyte. I have a Western Digital 3 terabyte 7200 RPM from a mass storage. And the CPU is being cooled by the Cooler Master Hyper T4. And right here is kind of why this video came about. About a month ago, uh, so fun, he commented on one of my videos and he told me that to try to benchmark my system using the following games CSGO, Global Offensive, and Minecraft. So I did the two games that so fun asked, asked for me to do. I did CSGO and Minecraft. I also did Doom. I did uh, Apex Legends. I did Fortnite. Also ran Heaven Benchmark on it. I also did Time Spy on it. Uh, I used uh, MSI Afterburner to get all my numbers for the frame rates and all that. Everything is ran at stock. My CPU is running stock. My GPU is running stock. My RAM is running stock out of the box without XMP profile turned on. You know, it's running 2666 speeds instead of 3000 megahertz speed. Um, so now I'll show you some of the gameplay I've got. And some of the numbers I've got, I've also put together a little chart to show you at the end, you know, where you guys can see what kind of frame rates I'm getting for each game. So here comes the gameplay.
All right, all. That's the kind of performance I got out of my system. Um, if you noticed on CSGO on the chart and during the gameplay both, for some reason, MSI only captured the average and the maximum. They didn't get the 1% lows. They didn't get the one-tenth one -tenth percent lows or the minimums for some reason on that game. I don't know why it did that. And still, yeah, Apex Legends, it's still maxing out at 60 frames per second. I can't, I still haven't been able to figure out why that is. I think it's because I'm running a 60, 60 hertz monitor. That's the kind of performance I got from the games that I played here today. And the benchmarking tools that I used, which was 7 and Time Spy. It wasn't Time Spy Extreme, it was just a regular Time Spy. But if you like what you saw here today, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. There's that comment section. If you'd like to see me test some other games or something, if you'd like to see me test something different, let me know. And I may come back and revisit this. Uh, if, you, if you really liked what you saw here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. And I'm getting quite a few videos put up now. Make sure you check out some of my other videos if you like what you saw here today. And with all that being said, until next time, y'all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.